I am literally a disaster waiting to happen. like the wind. We have a problem. Who? Good morning, you guys. It's Sunday. I actually love Sunday, quiet Sunday mornings in the barn. Yesterday, Mark uh, finished up our corn fungicide, which is nice to get done. And today, yeah, just chores. And uh, I haven't taken you guys through just a, a Sunday, a nice quiet day of chores. Now, when I say nice quiet day, that, that is all sheep depending. watching this 40% chance of rain approach. <laughs> I love our weather app. Good morning. Hello, good morning. We're on the right side of the fence. How are you doing? How are you doing? You need a feeder. I believe today is day 17 for this cycle, which means it should be the beginning of most of these use second estrus. She doesn't know it yet, but she will by tomorrow, probably. A little more receptive. They will start breeding pretty hardcore, probably tomorrow and the next day, if there's still some use in heat. Um, so their strongest one will always be that first cycle, which is uh, basically 24 hours, 18 hours after I pull out those cedars because I've synchronized them. I've actually told them kind of to come into heat. Um, if I don't see a lot of action this second go around, it could be just they're not cycling because it's out of season, or it, it might mean these guys are successful the first time, which would be a dream come true. Because <laughs> my, Conception results this year, I haven't been happy with.
I was having a bit of a panic attack uh, when it comes to this straw. Ooh, she's storming now. Um, the bale that Carissa had on the cart that I just kind of finished up bedding here with had a lot of wet around it, like around the edges. And I'm like, oh, I hope that was a bottom bale or an outside bale uh, because you don't want wet straw in a storage packed real tight. That's when you can get fires and all the things we do not need or want. Um, but I noticed it definitely was uh, that the very end row that still wasn't really under cover. So I had one row sticking out and I think that's where she got them from because this one looks like I can feel wet just from the little bit of rain this morning. And uh, yeah, but other than that, it's pretty dry. So I think it's just been from the rain we've had. But that, oh, that's the one thing with me not doing chores. Carissa wouldn't know that because we've never really talked about straw uh, being wet or dry. She hasn't grown up in this kind of thing. So uh, it's that communication piece that's so important between, you know, employer, employee. That's the little things that can happen that um, and can cause some significant issues. <laughs> One thing I hate about the plastic is it gets in the bucket, it gets under the feed, and then I can't pull it out. So fear not, that will not go in the feeder. Uh, I'll get rid of the feed, and then I'll have to open the door all the way and pull out the plastic. And then the plastic will go in the bags. But it's annoying. My most favorite part of chores, especially when I have lambs in the barn, is taking a second and just watching them run up and down. Um, first thing I ever fell in love with with sheep farming was, was watching lambs like late at night or this time of day. I never knew they did that. They frolic, they jump, they run, they look like little popcorn. up is there's always a ripple effect um, 
because my rash is going to be way off, I added a bunch of more haylage to kind of mix in that corn because there's way too much corn and I don't want these animals getting sick. Um, I still might even add dry hay because I'm not paranoid. However, made the feed too heavy because the feed, the haylage is so wet because it rained this morning that I think I blew a chain. And the last time I had to do chores, I'm pretty sure I wrecked this thing too. I am literally a disaster waiting to happen. We're gonna get dirty. I cheated and I drew a schematic here in case it came off. All right. Hold on, I need this one. take this as a sign from the universe that I need to quit feeding this because it's got way too much corn in it um, and what I'm gonna do is actually dump the rest because I'm an idiot and I'm gonna feed them straight haylage on top of what they have there to uh, dilute it I feel like that was someone stopping me from doing something very bad that's gonna make my sheep very sick sometimes a chain on the feed cart needs to pop up for me to stop all right let's see if this works Okay, chores for a second, which is probably good the way the rate I'm going this morning. Um, Mark has a bunch of pine. We own a 50 acre pine lot back there, him and his dad. And uh, he's just taken out, it's really, really full of trees, like so much that it's gonna kill, it's gonna kill trees. So he's got a few cut down and we're gonna, yeah, I think he's gonna pull it out today. I don't know when weekends became like, let's work for fun. Why is that? I thought weekends were to relax. Anyways. You've been hard at it. Yeah. I can see what you mean. They're all like intertwined, all the trees well, in there. It's so uh, ridiculous. It's like it's how you do a plantation, but it's almost like if you're gonna- Like they're to... snuffing each other out. It's pretty back here. Soil's all sand. Is it sandy in here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they pulled aggregate way back in the 30s. Really? Yeah, they're all playing in mine. Oh, it smells so good. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, kids. Good morning, you guys. It is holiday Monday. You would never know that here. Uh, us Canadians like to have a holiday Monday every month when summer starts because we are graced with winter a lot of the months. So I believe today is like, it's called Civic Holiday Monday, which I just think it's man-made because, well, we like to sit at cottages and drink beer, but I'm gonna spend the day cleaning manure. So I'd like to get these two pens cleaned out this week. We've hired our manure out last year we started doing that so they're going to be coming either late this week or early next week and spread all our manure including the chicken manure that we spread for uh, Mark's in-laws. So it's going to be a smelly couple weeks on the farm but this side's always nice to get done and out of the way uh, and it doesn't need to get done near as much as the side that always has the lambs because they're bedded every day Whereas these guys are bedded every other day, maybe every third day just depending on moisture So I'd like to get this done today and tomorrow and then when I wean that side will get cleaned out I got this all bedded up for me. <laughs> so, these guys go back here, those guys go in there, and the ones in the very back, go in the very back. <laughs> Come on, ladies. Be brave. No, Kins. She's like not even biting them. She just puts her mouth around them. Come on, guys. These two.
Very scared. All right, come on, kids. Come on. All right. Run like the wind. Billy. Come on, boys. Come on, girls. Come on. Oh, you're fine. Take the jump. You can do it. Atta boy. Come on. Okay, Billy. He's still limping. This guy he broke his toenail. This guy. So I'm feeling pretty bad about um, feeding all that corn yesterday. Uh, even though I got rid of most of it, they still got enough. And some of the ewe lambs look a little, I don't know. I just, I'm a little, I'm a little leery and Billy is a little off. So what I'm going to do is fill this bucket of dry hay and Chris is not going to feed them tomorrow. They had lots left over today, so she fed half of their typical ration. I'm going to top dress with a whole bunch of dry hay and let them nibble at that for the, for the, for the next couple days. I want to get their stomachs kind of neutralized. Um, they are nibbling at the straw, which will help immensely, but that's what can happen. Those, those bugs can, in their room and can really get out of whack and then they can uh, get a tummy ache. And right now, if they are in heat, I want them to be breeding, not sitting down with a tummy ache. So I might be overreacting, but dry hay is not gonna hurt them. Think of that cinnamon. Hey. Okay. Hi. Boo. Cool.